everyone, it's Tasha from Stardust Gold Crochet. Today's tutorial is for the Maya cowl pattern. Um, the beanie pattern is worked in the same exact way, so I'm just going to do the tutorial for the cowl itself. And as you can see, it's basically repeat rows, starting off with a foundation row and then working the pattern, doing a couple half double crochet rows in there, and then working your pattern up. And the same pattern repeats throughout. So, uh oh, I'm using um, the Heartland yarn that I used for the pattern, which is in Acadia colorway and a six millimeter hook. But for the pattern, I used a smaller hook. I think I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. So, I started off here with a foundation single crochet row of 10. You can do a row of um, you can do any number of stitches here as long as they're even number. So I did 10, but you can do a foundation chain as well, and then um, a half double crochet row, or a single crochet, single crochet row, sorry. Um, then make sure you just add one for your turning chain at the end of your chain. Okay, so to start off, this is considered row one if you're using the foundation single crochet. Um, the first row two we're going to do is we're going to chain two. We're going to turn it. This is worked in one big flat piece and then it's sewn together at the end. So for row two, we're going to chain two, turn. You're going to begin your first stitch in the first foundation single crochet or single crochet if you did another one. And we're going to half double crochet two together. So. You do that by yarning over first, inserting your hook, yarn over and pull up one loop, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, then you yarn over and pull through all your loops on your hook. And there's your half double crochet two together. That's actually a decreased stitch because we're going from two stitches down to one. But for this pattern, we're going to chain one here. So we created basically two stitches to make up for the loss of that other one. So we're not going to skip anything. We're just going to go straight into the next stitch and do another and then half double crochet two together. And then go into the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all, and then chain one. That repeats until the very end chain one. So you're decreasing, but the chain one makes up for the decrease. And so here we have two stitches left. We're going to work our half double crochet two together over those two stitches. And we're still going to chain one because we want to make that stitch count the same. So we should have ten. So we've got one, two, four, six, eight, ten. And the chain here is not counted in the stitch count, so you're going to count the first actual stitch. It's two, four, six, eight, ten. With and you're counting the chain in that stitch count. So for row three, you're going to chain one, turn, and I worded this a little different because it was a little difficult to word it. But you're going to work into the very first stitch, which could be considered the one, two, third chain from the hook but sometimes people get confused. So I just worded it like um, you're gonna work into the very first stitch. And then we're gonna do a half double crochet two together. We're gonna start off working into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. The second half of the half double crochet two together is gonna be worked around into the chain space. So you go around into the chain space, pull up a loop then yarn over and pull through all, and then chain one. So the next one, we're gonna work into the top of the half double crochet two together. Ooh, it looks like I have a knot in my yarn. And then work around into the chain space. And that repeats throughout the entire row. It's a really simple pattern once you get the hang of it. Just make sure you're working through the top two loops of that 
previous stitch. And so I have two stitches left. I have the top of the half double crochet two together from the previous row and I have my chain one. So for this part, we're gonna work into that last top of that stitch and then around the chain one into the space like that. And don't forget, you're still gonna chain one at the end to keep your stitch count up. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to rows four, five, six, and seven, which is actually just a repeat of row three. So I'm actually not gonna do those then. We'll skip that part because you're gonna repeat this row up until you have seven. So for row eight, what we're gonna do is chain one and turn, and then you're gonna work into the top two loops of each stitch or chain, starting in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, because this is actually your chain one, right? So we're gonna start there into the chain one, which is one, two chains down, and we're gonna do a half double crochet across the entire row, working into the top two loops of each stitch or chain. And I say that because you're not gonna go into the chain space, you're gonna go into those top two loops. And you do that down the entire row. The reason I did it like that was because I wanted to reduce the gaps for this row. I wanted it to be more of a solid line as opposed to the gaps. I believe I have one more left. Let me see if my stitch counts right. So we've got, that's the chain. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine. Nope, that's not the chain. There it is, two, four, six, eight, nine. Nope, <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten. I can count, I promise. So, yeah. There's our 10. And then for row nine, you're gonna chain one, turn, and work a half double crochet in each half double crochet from the previous row. I know it's boring watching me do this, but it's only 10 stitches, so you can handle it. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, eight, and 10. So there is our first, um, basically our first nine rows. And then for row 10, we're gonna repeat row two, which is working the half double crochet, two together. And then you're gonna come back and you're gonna repeat rows three, eight, nine, and so on. So you can refer to the pattern for the rest of it, but this is it. That's it, so that's your entire cowl. You work those repeats, and then when you come to the end, I did a poor job of sewing this together, and I'm sorry for that. That's very bad, I don't know what I was thinking. But this is a little better right here. <laughs> so nobody's perfect, right? So just go ahead and match up your seams, match up your stitches, and sew along there, and that's your cowl. And for the beret, um, the beret is a little bit different. It has basically the same stitch pattern. Um, it's a little more involved, but it works in the round. And the, the half double crochets, two, to, two together, are basically it repeats that exact same pattern. All right, guys, so if you have any questions about this pattern, leave them below the comments. Um, or you can go on over to my blog where the full written pattern is available. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, please subscribe. If you haven't hit the like button, hit it. And that little bell, you can get notified. I do a Saturday stitch tutorial series every week. Um, pretty great stitches. This last week, we did this stitch, which was really, it's a beautiful stitch. Um, and it's called the, was this the bead stitch? I think it's the bead stitch. All right, guys, take care. Happy crocheting.